Hello, and welcome to another chapter of a tome pulled right off the shelves at the heart of the Jackals. This is Rygar, part 21. Limit. Let's get to work. Please. Please tell me what you want from me. Please. Travel south to the city carved into glimmering stone. I have been clear on this. How much more must I sacrifice on this journey? How much more? How much can you endure? I've... I've given so much already. Not nearly enough. I've become something I couldn't even fathom when this journey of yours began. And yet, you have so very much further to go. What... What more can you ask of me? All that I ask, you must accomplish. How, how, how much more suffering will I have to endure? As much as you can, till you are nothing. I tire of this waste of my precious time. I stand before you, and you offer me nothing of value. Corvinus reached into himself. Not sure if Etha was alive or dead. A building sensation of immense rage over the torment he'd already been put through. He found the strength in this shrouding darkness to draw the essence of all of the oppressing energy around him into his limbs and forcing each one to move, holding a jagged dagger of heat and light Corvinus rushed his opponent, slashing at the shadowy figure that mimicked his own form. <laughs> yes, yes, learn from the pain. Discover greater strength and fortitude within it. Exactly what I desire from a disciple. Corvinus, you are far greater than you believe yourself to be. Now show me. Show me how great you really are. <laughs> Corvinus lunged, controlling his pain-wrecked limbs with his thoughts and the force of his will alone. Jaguru's shade dodged easily aside, slamming a fist harder than diamond into his gut. Corvinus ignored the blow to slice across Jaguru's chest, but all he managed was a small slice over the back of one shadowy hand. Jaguru, however, smiled in response. <laughs> Your progress pleases me. Jaguru pressed his advantage, sweeping Corvinus off of his feet and shattering his spine with a lightning-fast axe kick. Corvinus felt the impact of the blow, and then he was back under the ring of the tentacle in the real world and all its towering, impressive glory. Jaguru nowhere to be seen or felt. Kovinus sat up and then slowly stood on wobbly limbs, for what felt like the first time in an eternity. The damage of the kick and the horrendous fire that it had burned right through him healed his body rather than annihilating it. Kovinus still hurt, still ached as if he would never recover, but the small, jagged blade of golden gleaming dagger in his right hand. Almost pure light and yet metal in the same time. That was assurance enough that Jaguru could be trusted. And this journey, wherever it led and whatever challenge Corvinus had to defeat, it would be worth it in the end. And so it is. Our time together has once more come to a close. I have been Lothran, and this was Rygar, part 21. Limit. Another tale from the heart of the jackals. Go ahead, Korvar. Yes, sir. Okay, that's the end of the story today, folks. Please leave all your comments, questions, and kindnesses down below. Don't be a jerk, though. And don't forget to stay safe out there. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to show your support.
And uh, there's this bell thing on the YouTube. So you gotta click that bell after you subscribe to get notifications for when we release our videos every day. Because you don't want to miss none. Alright, um, good night and good luck. See you again tomorrow. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.